everyone it's re with cute many things back in the craft room it's been a while um it's been a journey so the shop has been crazy busy and i haven't had time to show any of my setups so um i woke up early this morning and thought you know let me um set up my hobonichi um i've been wanting to do this and i finally found the pieces i needed and i was like you know what i better record this so what I'm going to do is this is my new 2020 Hobonichi planner and I've I want to set up a washi dashboard for the pages. I didn't do this last year and um I love I've been in search of things that will match this um mint green bow. So I've been uh searching around um I actually found mint green you're at the glance stickers and I think this not green it's like a minty bluish color I don't know um but it came out so awesome if you're wondering where I got this or if you have this same Hobonichi planner um this sticker kit was from Alley Cat Shops and I will link their um Instagram below and you could probably find their link on Etsy um, but yeah, I think I picked this one up. It was, it was on sale. Um, I'm sure there's a coupon code. I'll probably link all that below, but it came out so amazing and I, I'm so happy it matches. So I've always wanted to do a washi dashboard and decorate this and I'm going to show you how I do it. Usually you'll lay out your washi across the page, but I decided to do something different to make it a little easier. So what I did was I took regular sticker paper, and this is just white sticker paper, and I cut it to um, the length, length of this page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay all my washi down on the sticker paper, and then I'm gonna stick the whole thing down on the actual page itself. That way I don't have to lay it down and have to worry about this edge. It'll be all one sheet. So let's try this because it's my first time doing it. I did pick out some washi and I kind of laid them across. Um, so this is the washi scheme that I'm going with. I wanted to do all of the mint, um, but I couldn't find a lot or get them here on time. And so this is the setup that I was gonna go with. So it has some gold, um, this pink, um, you know, it can't, I just got these two washi tapes in the mail. These came from um, the Sassy Club. She mostly sells stamps, but I really love her washi tape. I, I buy them when they're on sale and you could find her on Instagram as well. But she sells a lot of her washi tape. Like these were on sale and it matched perfectly with the Hobonichi. And then I love that this um, washi came. It has a little bit of that mint in there as well. So I was like, oh, you know what? I'm going to use that. So I love the way that pairs. And then this one right here came from the Happy Planner. Um, this as well. This is some random washi I got from Recollections from Michael's. And then this pink one with gold um, bows. You could probably find this on anything Simply Gilded. But I got this out of the Planner Society subscription box. So I'm using my stash. Um, oh man, I kind of messed up the order of how this is supposed to be. Alright, so this is how I'm going to set it up. And I'm going to kind of show you. I'll probably fast forward me laying it down. Um, but most of the time, most people try to start at the top. And I've done this before in many dashboards and it comes out all wonky. I'm actually going to start laying my washi from the middle because I want my focal washi, which are these two, to kind of start me off in the middle of the page. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and lay it down. I do still need to round the corners here. Um, let me see if I can do that now so I don't have to do it. Oh, well, I'm going to have to do it when I cut the washi. So I'm going to lay out this, all the washi, cut the sides, trim the edges, and then we'll lay it on the Hobonichi page. And this is, I think that's going to be the hardest because I'm going to be so scared that I don't wind it up right. So let's get started.
right, I am completed. This is the dashboard. I just need to go ahead and round the corners. Um, I'm peeling back the sticker backing. That way I can get the full corner. But as you guys can see, I sh struggled a lot trying to figure out how to cut this washi. Um, and don't use um, the cutting, your cutting plate because it gets stuck on there and it's a kind of hard to clean up so I'm just gonna round the corners here and then we'll try to stick it down hopefully I can get it as straight as possible because it is not working for me today um, but yeah it came out so pretty I like it it's kind of springy but I think it's gonna look good so let's go ahead and try this out and it's going to be stuck just like that and I'm I was just thinking oh my gosh what if I did it on the wrong side so I'm thinking I'm gonna line it up on this side just because you don't want to overhang on the paper itself and I'm fine if it hits the border a little bit so I'm gonna try to do it like that um let's I don't know I think I'm going to try to lay it down um, off camera because I don't know it's kind of weird when people or what I know that I'm recording it it's probably not gonna lay down right so I'm gonna go ahead and do it off camera um, honestly there's probably no easy way to do this I'm kind of scared so we'll see if I get it done if um, I come back on and say yeah it's a it's a bust then you know I didn't do it right so I'll be back all right that actually wasn't as painful as I thought it was gonna be here is the finishing moment oh my gosh I love it so what I did was here's the paper I only peeled half of it off and I left the other half so that I could just do one part of the page and I made sure to use like this is my vinyl scraping tool from my silhouette and I just kind of got in there in the crease with it first with the sticker paper before I laid on the other side that way it's not like bulging up but look how cute that is I don't know if I want to do the back <laughs> this was a lot um, but yeah lots of washi tape on here um, and let me go ahead and stick it back into my clear cover. So I bought a clear cover protectant for it because I do have a planner cover um, that matches perfectly. Like I said, I went on a hunt once I purchased this planner to find anything in that mint. Um, I don't want to say it's a, it's like more of an eggshell or like a Tiffany blue color. So let me find my Hobonichi um, cover. This one was meld, or meld. This one was made for me by um, JNL So Cute on Instagram. I can link her um, descript or her link below. But she made me this beautiful color, so I wanted to go with the whole mint and gold. Hence why this is mint and gold. And I love the bows, so that's why I bought the clear cover. That way, it's still protectant, and then I can cover it up like this, and then fold it over. So that is going to be my setup. Of course, we're going to spruce up the inside pockets. Um, and I'm slowly but surely, because I love my little hula girl, um, getting more things. Um, I know I made some... Hobonichi sleeve dividers. If you don't know, I do make the sleeve divider dividers where you can slip it into these pages. And that's what I got my setup. I don't, I'm debating if I want to put my gold R there or just stick it in here and use it in different planners. So you let me know. Or I can also make my um like some kind of vinyl cutout of my my first name, put it there. So um, I think I only have one monthly spread, but um, I wanted to go ahead and buy all the monthly spreads for the whole year so I could decorate them. And I only know of one shop that um, actually made a whole year's worth of monthly monthlies. And I love that because I'm one of those people like once I put stickers down, it's there and sometimes I skip a month. So I want to do all my monthlies in my Hobonichi. Um, and if you want to know where I got my little page 
tab things. Um, these are amazing. The shine on this um, foil is crazy. Look how you could see it like in the light. Um, I'll link that description below or I'll link it in the description below. I don't know why I can't say that. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this helps you on um, figuring out how to make your own washi dashboards in your Hobonichi. Um, I don't know. I might do something different in the back. We'll see if I can find some more mints. Um, because I love the way this turned out. Um, but I think I, I want to do something different in the back. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.